Miss Steel here. So for this project, we're going to make some exploding shapes. They're not actually going to be exploding, but we're going to try to make them look that way. We're talking about balance this week. So whenever we're filling out our paper, we're trying to be mindful that we have the same amount of details in all the different areas. So for this project, you want a white piece of paper and a colored piece of paper. A pencil and an eraser, definitely our art tool basics. You want some scissors, because we're gonna be cutting out of this. And then you want something to color in with. I'm gonna try with both markers and crowns, but you can use whatever you have to color in. So I'm gonna set these aside. And what we wanna do first is we wanna cut some geometric and organic shapes out of this. But I wanna remind you real quick why we're here about geometric and organic shapes. Organic shapes are shapes that are wibbly and wobbly, shapes that typically don't have names. We don't really recognize them. And those are organ organic shapes. Geometric shapes are shapes we recognize that have names, shapes like squares, circles, triangles, diamond shapes hearts, stars, and many more. Pretty much any shape that you know that has a name is a geometric shape. Organic shapes don't have names and they're kind of wibbly wobbly shapes. So I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna choose three different shapes. I think I wanna do a circle and I'm gonna make these shapes about the size of my fist. A circle, Let's do a triangle, and then let's do a wibbly wobbly organic shape like that. Now I'm going to cut these out. And I'm using colored paper because colored paper is a little bit thicker, and we're going to be tracing around these. So I'm going to work on getting these three shapes color cut out, and then we will move on to our next step. I have my three shapes cut out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out one crown color. Well, I'm going to pick out a lot, but just one for right now. And what I want to do is I'm going to take my shape, and I'm going to put it on my paper. I think I'm going to put this one right here. And then I'm going to hold it down with one hand so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to use my other hand to add some lines kind of going around it, kind of just like a scribble going all the way around. And then I'm kind of lifting my hand, and I'm moving it around. And then once I've colored all the way around, I can take this off. Ooh, this is a light color. I'll have to use a darker color. And now I have the outline of where that shape was. So maybe I'll use this one next. And what I'm trying to do is I'm thinking about balance. So I'm trying to make for sure that I add some going all the way around my paper. You could do this with markers too. So I'm gonna grab this blue marker and then I'm gonna hold this down right in the center and I'm gonna do exactly what I did with my crown a second ago. And I'm holding it down, kind of drawing around my hand, making for sure I don't let go so it doesn't scoot around. And now I have my next shape explosion. So maybe because I have these two right here, I'm going to go over here and on the side, I'm going to add in a triangle. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use this purple because I think it'll show up for you guys better. And again, I'm just coloring around, going back and forth, almost like a really tight zigzag line. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth going all the way around and you can make it like a bigger explosion if you want, like go farther out like that, or you can make it smaller and then I'll move it. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna keep adding these in, but what I'm trying to be mindful about is I'm trying to be mindful about balance. So if I have a bunch of stuff on this side, it doesn't have to be identical on the other side, but I wanna have an equal amount of things to look at on the other side. And you can use this with crowns, you can do this with colored pencils, or you can do this with what I'm using right now, which is a marker. So I'm just going around, making for sure to hold down on the edges. 
I'm just kind of adding some lines going around the outside so I can get that shape explosion. And like I said, you can make some a little bit bigger. You can make some a little bit smaller. I'll leave that up to you. I'm going to keep moving these around and adding some shape explosions all over my paper. And we'll check in and see how it looks in a little bit. All right, so I have my paper almost all the way filled out. I think I'm going to add one maybe in this corner, maybe one over here. And then I think it'll feel pretty complete. So I think I'm going to do my circle. Maybe just right, right here, kind of popping in. And I thought I'd show you just one more time. You can see I got a bunch of different colors on these from me tracing over them. Once you get down the step, it gets a little bit easier. I find it easier as well to hold closer to the paper whenever I'm tracing like the edge of the paper so it doesn't slip as much. But besides that, I can't wait to see how your guys' projects come out. I just have this one left. I think I'm going to use this blue. You can see for the color palette I chose for this one, I did a lot of lighter colors. So you can also think about what colors you're using. You can use just one, two, three colors, or you can use a bunch of different ones. I would suggest at least a different color for each shape just so they stand out a little bit better. I like to go around and I like to make mine a little bit wider. And just like that, my shape explosion is done. I could keep going in and adding even more, you know, like I could keep layering them. But I kind of like the balance of it all. I kind of like that there's some white open areas amongst all the colors. So I'm happy with it, and I think I'm going to leave it like this. I think I ended up tracing each of these four or five times around my paper. So that means there's anywhere from 12 shapes to 15 shapes. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, so I did each of them four times. I can't wait to see how yours come out. You can, of course, add more if you like. And I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Bye.